Hi guys, Dane here. I don't know why I'm looking slightly red at the moment. I just am uh, from the lighting, I think. It's currently Sunday the 31st of January 2021, which means uh, it's the end of my old vlog. I filmed that, and so this is the start of the new vlog. I'm currently reading The Fridge Hiker's Guide to Life by Tony Hawks. So Tony Hawks went around Ireland hitchhiking around the country with a fridge in tow. And The Fridge Hiker's Guide to Life is essentially a series of his observations and his life lessons that he learned while traveling. So it's pretty good so far. Although derivative of the uh, original, the original book, because he basically he's already written about this travel, like he's already written about this journey, and so it's just another book about an existing journey that I've already read about. But hey ho! All right, hi guys. It is currently what Monday, the first of February. I had a two-hour art centre zoom today, uh, which kept me busy. I've been reading some more. I finished reading The Fridge Hiker's Guide to Life by Tony Hawks. It's probably a four out of five. I think I've already said my new complaint was that it's very derivative of Round Island with a fridge. Uh, it's basically like a retelling of a journey he already talked about. So that's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, it was all right. I've currently got this bad boy, the Foundation Trilogy. So I've already read Foundation. So I'm just making a start on Foundation and Empire. After that, I'm going to move on to Unbury Cal. And after that, I'm going to move on to Unbury Carol by Josh Malaman, which I'm going to be reading as a buddy read with Mindy's book journey, uh, as one of her many readathons that she's participating in. God knows how many. I think like four this month, something like that. Uh, so we're going to buddy read that, and then I'll probably go back to Second Foundation after that, just to tick this off. So that's where we're at. I had some stuff in the post today. Yeah, it's just mad busy. Oh, my computer just overheated, but I think it's finally back now. Oh, hi. Hello. It is, um, what day is it? It's Tuesday the 2nd of March, no, February, February 2021. February. Yeah. Uh, I have a, no, I haven't filmed an update today. So from my, my reading, uh, not too much to announce. I've finished reading Foundation and Empire by Isaac Asimov, and now I'm on Second Foundation. So I've been doing books two and three of the trilogy. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, Susie's over this evening. You've just unboxed your scrawler box. Yes, you bought me a box of art supplies. It's like one of these monthly subscription things. And this one, it's all about doing doodle art. And it's got and this- And paisley colors. Yes, and it's got a color scheme. And it came with like a chocolate mint as well. And mm. it was really quite tasty. And we're about to do a time-lapse video of me doing the challenge that it sets in this, where you use the art supplies to do something based on the inspiration word, which was paisley print. And I'm already getting some ideas, so I'm quite looking forward to doing Sweet. that bit. Well, that, we'll probably have a video for that on our combined channel as well, Lord Literature and Madam Media. Do you want to give the people a little update of what videos we've got in progress? Because we've got like four in progress, right? <laughs> yeah, we've got a few things going on at the moment. Something that I'm really looking forward to seeing on YouTube is our most recent bloopers video. Mm -hmm. We're really quite funny when we're messing up. <laughs> I'm quite funny. I make you laugh and then... And then yeah. My mum has actually said quite a bit about how you're the clown and you're yeah. funnier because I play it so the, straight. You're the straight man, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see that, yeah. yeah. Well, it's because I know how to make you laugh as well, so that quite a lot of the humour is in me doing stupid shit, knowing it's going to make you laugh. <laughs> yeah, or squeal. Yeah. Or run from the room, no. <laughs> Not again. You have to watch the video for that. We basically wrestled. Yeah, yeah. and there's another shot that's very quick. It's near the end. Look out for it. But um, this one explores himself or herself do you remember that i remember that yeah. I, I almost didn't put it in mm -hmm. um other things we've got working on at the moment we have a you know obligatory valentine's video coming up but we're not doing massively cutesy cutesy stuff but it will be questions from a hat and we answer them mm -hmm. another thing we've got working in like our next feature because we've got these fun little videos and then we've got the big ones where i do costumes and makeup and um cover dane in mud uh is about Clockwork Orange, mm -hmm. your request, and I'm using it as an excuse to get into the look of the film. I've got this really cool costume, which I've been doing some makeup practice on. The video from that is already on the channel, and I'm gonna be dressing this one up as the as Alex, Alex. hero Yeah, well, he's the, call him the protagonist, protagonist I guess. Yeah. I, actually, because I've just started rereading Clockwork Orange by audio, and like a couple of my observations already. First off, the audio starts with a note from Anthony Burgess being like, well, when this was released in America, they cut out like three chapters, which really pissed him off. And also he's like, it's not my best book. And everyone keeps talking about it. And I don't think it's my best book, um, which I, I can kind of see that. But Alex, right? Clockwork Orange is basically capturing the rye with violence. So it's kind of bugging me a little bit because 
Catcher in the Rye, when I first read it, I loved it, but I was a 15-year-old lad reading about Holden Caulfield, and every 15-year-old lad's a bit Holden Caulfield. The problem is, is you get a bit older, and you're just like, oh, what an insufferable little dick. <laughs> and basically, Alex from the Clockwork Orange is the same, except he's also beating the shit out of people. So I'm just there like, uh, uh. And this was your choice. Well, I know, I know the reason I actually picked this out, and I'll put the comment here because I need to find it anyway, is because somebody commented on one of my videos saying I looked a bit like the guy from Clockwork Orange. So... Wait until I put you in the bowler hat and the fake eyelashes. Well, that's why I thought it'd be a nice little tribute to the fans. But, I say fans. Uh, also, <laughs> so <modest. laughs> also, we have one uh, about Hunger Games and Battle Royale. Oh, that's way in the future. Mm, yeah, but you've been reading a bit of it. Well, let's get to that. What have you been reading recently? I have been binging the Hunger Games trilogy on Audible. I am nearing the end of book two, but I've also been watching the films. And I'm going to go a step further because you told me about the, the Ballad of Snakes the ballad and of, Songbirds. I think it's the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Yeah. yeah, and I know nothing about that one. So that's off the edge of the map for me. And I remember really loving the films. And now that I'm reading the well, listening to the books, I'm realising how good the films are and I can't wait to totally gush about that. And also, you're bringing in Battle Royale, which I know nothing mm. about. Yeah, but there won't be too much to say about that. We'll watch them, we'll have to watch the movie together and talk about the movie a bit, basically. And I'll just talk a bit. I mean, the book is... the mo It's quite a good adaptation of it, but what's cool about Battle Royale is it reminds me of Stephen King in that, like, basically all of the characters in it like in the movie it's just like oh there's that mad bitch and oh she dead or whatever or like oh there's the class nerd oh he's dead you know mm. whereas in the book there's plenty of time to build up all of the characters so you know there's like 15 of them left so it is in that way a bit like the hunger games because in the hunger games you get like that where mm. the antagonists and blah 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 you, you, they all feel kind of um very real but it'll be interesting to have that debate as well because i missed the hunger games the first time round because at that time I was like 15, 16, and I just read Battle Royale, and everyone was saying, oh yeah, Hunger Games is just a rip-off of Battle Royale. So I waited, I, uh, and I watched the Hunger Games movies on Netflix recently. The movies are okay. Uh, the book's better than the movies, I think. Or at least, right, the first book and the first movie are the two best ones, and I think the book is better than the movie. However, then probably the movies take over, because the books, uh, they both start, they, but this is the problem with the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games didn't rip off Battle Royale, the Hunger Games ripped off the Hunger Games because it just repeated itself, you know? Uh, but, well, we will go into this in much more yes. detail when we get to that video. So yeah. we're probably entertaining ourselves for at least the next three months. Yeah. Which is good. No, I don't know. Three months, six weeks, maybe. No, no. <laughs> maybe no. Well, at the moment, we're kind of doing a video a week. So we've got a weekend release. That's kind of what I'm sticking with at the moment. So the next one will be our bloopers. Yes. But then the weekend after that, Probably you'll have the scroll of Ox done, or you'll have, or we'll have done Clockwork Orange. Yeah, I'm hoping. Or Valentine's it's... actually. Yeah, it'll have to be Valentine's yeah. first. Because can you imagine if we post a Valentine's video in March? Yeah. What's the when is Valentine's? In about a fortnight. Oh, that works out perfectly. Valentine's Day is next Sunday. Yeah. So. So this Sunday bloopers. Next Sunday Valentine's. Posting Valentine's, we'll need to film it. Yeah, it'll be this beforehand. weekend yeah. probably. Yeah, or tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm. I put my face on special and right. I haven't. Yeah. This is me coming fresh out of Dane's shower. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. Um, till and, next time. And you're going to go and read some horrible histories now, possibly. You're probably going to play on your phone and do scrolling, aren't you? Most likely, yeah. yeah. But the Aztecs are proving very interesting. Mm. I'm enjoying the nostalgic bit about it. Yeah. I'm, oh, no. I've been trying to redo my, my. I got so close with it again. I got to the. Right, there was literally two bloody things in the wrong places. And the algorithm website's like, oh yeah, don't worry if it initially looks as though you've messed it up. Because by the end of it, it will be great. Did it fuck? It fucking <laughs> fucked it right up, right? And it's like, oh no, right, just repeat it. Okay, repeat it once. If that doesn't work, repeat it twice. If that doesn't work, repeat it four times, and then that will work. And I'm there, and I'm like, I've done this fucking 20 times, mate. It's not going back. It's not working. You've ruined my life. <laughs> <sighs> Do you like me to take it off you? No, because I've just—I've almost got the white. Oh no, because I haven't been checking that the whites. Oh, rookie ma oh. Let's save the battery. <laughs> oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Mm. Just eating some crispy kale. I made some crispy kale as well. Nice. It's like my favourite thing to make. Mm. You just get some kale. Um, this is kind of Susie's recipe as well. She does it really well. Probably does it better. Than, well, she does do it better than me. Uh, but you get some kale. You take out all the stalks. You get rid of those. You get all the leaves. You spread them out on a tray. Cover it. Uh, top it with olive oil, salt, and sugar. 
put it in the oven for about 10-15 minutes and then chow down on it, it's great. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've made some crispy kale. I went to the shops earlier, I think I got some crispy kale in my teeth. Uh, yeah, I did my walk, went to the post office as well. I've been reading uh, Second Foundation, which is the third book in Isaac Asimov's Foundation trilogy. So I finished Foundation and Empire, uh, probably, to be honest, probably three out of five. And now we're on Second Foundation, which I've almost finished, and it's got a 3.5 out of five going for it. So um, I think Foundation and Empire definitely suffered from middle book syndrome. But also, I'm just not a Foundation person, apparently. Like, I love Asimov, don't get me wrong. I just think I prefer his short stories. I think he's best as well when when he's talking about like uh, like ethical stuff and uh, for example in his robot stories uh, what makes a robot and how robots can break the laws of robotics and stuff. That's what, when I find him really interesting. So with Foundation he's just he's more been like lots of world building and space politics which I don't you know really care for. Although in this book there is a, a 14 year old girl who's excellent probably my favorite character of the trilogy. So yeah, I'm hoping to finish that off tonight and then I'm going to be picking up A Bird Box by Josh Malaman, which I'm buddy reading with Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey. Check out her channel if you haven't already. Uh, Mindy's great and she does a lot of readathons and I think she's reading this for some readathon or other and I just happen to have it so I'm glad to be getting down to it. Uh, I think I'm currently on 104 books currently reading so I'm very close to getting that down below 100. Um, in The Hobbit, I read some more of that last night. Um, Bilbo... It came out of the, the, the underneath the mountain, the Misty Mountains, and um, snuck up on the party. And then Gandalf was like, mm, how do you do that? Uh, and now they're running away from the goblins, but the wolves have come along. I think they might, I don't know if they're wargs in English, but they're uh, loop in, uh, in French, in Francais. And so, um, yeah, it's one of my favourite French words. Actually, my acoustic guitar is called loop, uh, because it's wolf. So, uh, and there was a great line, I think it was Feely and Keely, and, and they were like, oh, you left them behind again, the cambrioleur, which is uh, the burglar. And, uh, and then it's like, it's not my job to carry a cambrioleur around. And then they used this word, which I looked up, and it's an archaic word now in French. Um, it, it, like, what do you think I am, a hall porter? Is basically what they said. Um, which I suppose is probably pretty true to the English translation. But yes, yeah, so we're just there. I think the eagles are about to show up next. Uh, at some point they go into that forest, don't they? they go, is it Mirkwood? Uh, and then they go into the Elvy bit and then they escape in the barrels. So luckily I know enough of the plot that I can follow along, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. So that's where I'm at. Hello everybody, it is currently uh, 8.12 on the, what is it, on the 5th of February, Friday the 5th of February. Um, in life, I've been having a bit of a spring clean and this includes alphabetizing all of the vinyls and books that I have for my eBay. Uh, so let me know if you'd be interested in, in some sort of video on that and like what I have for sale on eBay. But um, it's a long process, let's put it that way, but it will save me time in the long run. Uh, I received a bunch of Dr. Seuss books in the post. We'll start with these ones. These are the ones that I'd already read, so these are just going straight on my eBay store. Uh, we have Dr. Seuss's Sleep Book, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Fox in Socks, Green Eggs and Ham, The Cat in the Hat Comes Back, The Cat in the Hat, Scrambled Egg Super, Mr. Brown Can Moo Can You, If I Ran the Circus, The Sneetches and Other Stories, and finally Dr. Seuss's ABC. So those are all the ones that I've read. And then these ones here are all the ones that were new to me and I have already read all of these as well, but I'll go through the titles. Each of these received somewhere between a 3.5 and a 4 out of 5. So we have One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, Hop on Pop, Horton Here's a Who, Punches in Bunches, All the Places You'll Go, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Uh, I had trouble in getting to Solosolu. If I ran the zoo. And uh, Dr. Seuss on the Loose, this latter of which was basically like a highlights collection. So yeah, those are all what I got in the post. Uh, Susie came over yesterday, uh, so that was fun. Uh, we filmed a video, a Valentine's video for our channel Lord Literature and Madam Media, so be sure to check that out. Uh, what else have we got coming up? Other stuff. Uh, I've listened to A Clockwork Orange on audiobook by Anthony Burgess. Probably gave it a 4 out of 5. Uh, I have read it before. 
and I've rewatched the movie as well because we're going to be doing a video on that soon. And I've just started reading an audiobook of The Hunger Games. Uh, as for my main book, I'm cracking on with Unbury Carol, uh, Unbury Carol by Josh Malaman. So yeah, it's good. And obviously I finished reading uh, Asimov's Foundation books. So that is where we're at. And the, the weekend is now stretching ahead of us. Although uh, I'm ma mainly going to be doing work and this spring clean. But you know, maybe a bit of editing. Uh, uh, Scarlet Sins came back to me from my editor, Pamela Harris. And this is a collection of short stories and songs. Uh, and this is the final round of edits, so she sent that back to me. I've just got to go through that, make any final edits. I have one more story that's going to go in it as well, and then I just need to proofread it. Hopefully coming out in April. Oh, I am very blurry. Uh, I'm coming into focus now though, lad. Alright, it is currently Saturday the 6th of February. It's coming up to 10 to 9 in the morning. As usual, I haven't slept, but I did finish reading Unbury Carol. Um, and I've also been doing a lot of work, continuing to sort out all the stuff in my house, uh, working on my books as well, which is good. I've actually got to a point now, uh, and I think I said this in my last vlog, and it's happened again. I've finished all of my client work. Um, so the only thing I've got on at the moment is YouTube, which I don't have much of that to do because I did most of that last night. And then just general tidying and stuff. Susie's coming over later, so I'm pretty much going to try and finish getting all my bits in order. And then I'm going to go and nap until she gets here. Uh, then for dinner tonight, I'm going to make us uh, spicy jalapeno mac and cheese. And then tomorrow, I'm going to... That's Susie now. And then tomorrow, I'm going to make a full English breakfast. Uh, vegan style, of course. Currently reading The Secret People by John Bennion, uh, which is actually just John Wyndham. I would tell you what I think of it, but so far, I've literally only read the blurb and the author bio. So coming soon but I'm excited to get to it so yeah and I've, al I've almost got my to read list to below a hundred books now which I'm very excited about all right guys uh, it is currently Sunday the 7th of February it's 8 26 p.m. Uh, productive little weekend Susie and I uh, well Susie edited our Valentine's Day video which will be on Lord Literature and Madam Media I'll link to our channel there below uh, so we did that, we listened to some vinyls and stuff, I made us a delicious full English breakfast today. Uh, we also watched The Dig on Netflix, which was quite good. I finished reading Unbury Carol by Josh Malaman, um, and then I've been reading The Secret People by John Wyndham, writing as John Bennion. It's okay so far, but it, it's really one of those books where um, I feel like the idea was great. You know when somebody sometimes takes a concept and tries to write a book out of it and they just focus so much on the concept that they forget to write an interesting story? That's kind of what happened. Biggie's down there. Rah, 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 rah. Say hello to the internet, Biggie. Hello, internet. Do you want to go down now? Yeah. Oh, yes. Biggie's broken his... Uh, he has this, this toy that's like a mouse. And basically, he's either broke, well, the head come up, came off the mouse and we don't know where it is. So I've had to order him another one because it's one of those toys that he bops around and then dreamies fall out of it. So it's basically the only exercise he gets. But yes, um, that's where I'm at. I mean, this seems like a good place to end this week's reading vlog as it is a Sunday. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.